I'm not going to take a lot of time and talk about myself because it's more about the training you guys get today. Just know I've been doing this for 10 years and I still am nervous. <laughs> nervous when I share. We all have something to share and I have some really, really, really good notes. First and foremost, if I didn't tell you guys that I'm going to share some systems today that hopefully will help you, number one. Secondly, um, you got that little QR code. Did you guys get that? If you don't know how to work a QR code, hold your camera over the little scanner and it'll take right away to my systems, my file, along with my YouTube channel, that this will be posted up. So if you're like, she had a lot of energy and she was moving a lot, go back and rewatch it, because I do. And this is on no coffee. Yay! <laughs> we often talk about, what if I drank coffee? <laughs> Scary. Okay. So today, we're going to share my heart and my soul, how I generally have a great sense of leading the pack. They talk about leading the pack, and you're supposed to be in front of the pack. So beside what you've ever thought about leading a team, leading an organization, leading your family, you're better when you do it from behind. I know, I know. You're like, you got to lead from the front. I'm going to teach you today how to lead from behind. I'm going to talk about five systems and five things that work best for me in my business, and I hope you guys get something from it. Most importantly, when you find your pack, find your pack and love them hard. Because find your tribe, find whoever is in your life, whether it's um, a supportive spouse, a non-supportive spouse, it's your best friend. Oh God, how come everybody said, hold on now? Just find them and love them hard. That's my goal today. So who's ready to talk about great team culture? Raise your hand. Yeah. Do you have, who can tell me today, and go ahead and raise your hand, we're not gonna judge, if you already feel like you kinda have good team culture in your group. Okay, this is good. Ricky, you do? <laughs> She's my best. You've got great team culture, girlfriend. Um, so I'm trying to show you today what true leadership looks like and what leading the pack looks like. It may be a few little systems that we do, but what I teach you today and what I'm sharing today may make the difference in your business. And that's my goal. Oh, so excited. <laughs> I gotta get all those shaky nerves off, right? right? Okay, so I'm gonna share five ways to connect and grow your team. Five things that have worked so well for me as a superstar director. Um, whether you're a Sensi consultant or you're a, a certified consultant or a superstar director, remember one thing. We are all what? Better together. Sensi oh. consultants. <laughs> it doesn't matter what your title is. We are all Sensi consultants sharing one beautiful thing that we love our life to smell better. Correct? Yes. 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 Okay, so don't forget, your, the direct connection for this training and the systems is on those QR codes that you're going to have, I promise you, um, that little card that we gave you. Did anybody not get a card? Okay, so everybody got one. I tried to make like 250, but there could be more in this room. She didn't, they're on my team, right? Yes, they're in my family. So um, I'll be posted on the team page. All right, so let's get started. I have a few words I need to read and I just don't want to mess up with anything, so just know that I really thought this out, really prepared for this, so here we go. So building a strong team is really what the focus is all about in this room. You're thinking, how do I build strength? How do I make this team connect? Would you be surprised if I taught you some ways to do that today? This is what I want to do. I want to take you and your team, whether it's a team of one or five million, we're going to talk about that today too, and make sure you guys have that connection. This is so important. When you, you look at other people in your team and you look at, you're like, how do I recognize people? How do I collaborate with the rest of my team? You know what the easiest thing to do is to look at your sales numbers and see who's got really high PRV. You don't know what to talk about on your team page? Guess what? Take that really high PRV, do a shout out to them, text them, Marco Polo them, video record your message to them, 
FaceTime them and then say, you are doing so well, will you go live on our team page and share what you're doing? Because I don't have all the answers. You don't have all the answers. None of us do. This is what we're working today. We're learning, as Michelle said, we are better together. Our team is collaboration of people who do amazing Facebook parties, amazing book parties. I love flower parties. I'm a flower party freak. That's okay. I have flower parties out all day long. It's what I do. If you don't know what that is, my YouTube channel will share that. But never really underestimate the value that that team member can bring to your team. You know, when you ask someone to go live on their page, sometimes they get a little freaked out. But guess what? You just built them up. You just gave them strength. You just gave them power that they didn't know what they had. Do you ever notice once when they go live one time? Talk about it. How about the first time you guys went live? Raise your hand if you were nervous, right? Keep your hands up. Second time, were you still nervous? Third time? Okay, see, it gets better. Okay, I'm like 10 years up here and I'm still nervous talking, so. Well, who am I? But um, don't forget to ask your team for help and guidance as well. It is so, so important. Um, the most important job as a leader is for you to clearly articulate your team's vision. What does that look like? And if your team is one, that's your team. That's your family. But remember, if you articulate this vision of your goals, where you want to go, what the future looks like, what the goals are of the team, it is so much better. Because when they know they have somebody that's leading, they understand the quality of this business, what it can do for you, it is life changing. So I'm gonna get started on my systems. Oh, let me say this one time. My favorite thing to do is on Tuesdays, we do a tip Tuesday on the team page. So for those of you that have shared, thank you. But it's really neat that you can call someone out on your team and say, hey, hey Mary, I saw you did a really good party, uh, basket party last week. Will you go on this week and do my tip Tuesday on the team page? You are showing them that you're proud of their work and also Letting them share, because lots of times, let's see, June is in this room. She did a really good, there she is. She did a really good training on um, the mystery bags. She went live on the team page. Suddenly, everybody's doing mystery bags. It's when we work together, it's way better. So don't forget about that tip Tuesday. So let's chat right now about this image. Raise your hand if you guys have seen this image floating around Facebook, right? I know. For the sake of this training today, let's just say that this image is an absolute, true representation of a wolf pack in the wild, okay? We're gonna do some training today on wolf pack leadership, wolf pack skills. It's funny that um, Myra was in here earlier and she, her team is the wolf pack team, I think, something like that. Is anybody in here in that group? Isn't that what the team name is, right? Wickless wolf pack. So I thought that was great. Anyway, so this is supposedly a true representation of what it's like to vote for the wolves that lead in the wild. So hear me out and put your team in these places. The first group of teamies are the older and the weaker. They're setting the pace for the group, okay? This is exactly what this is. The next group is the strongest of the pack. They're following right behind the strength and the path and the focus of those elders that are, that are showing right there. The next group is a combination of just young, old, all different ages, but this is your next group. Your second to the last group in this green box is your other strength of the pack. Do you see how they are perfectly sized up next to each other? They're protecting them, they're protecting them, but who is in the back? The alpha. That is you. That is you. I'm so sorry. I was going to cry. I do this every time. You are the alpha wolf in your pack. How can you lead them when you're standing in front of them? Do you know what's going on behind you? No. no. You hear those, those, hi, Heidi. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my gosh. So you're looking. See, I was crying. Standing in front of your team, I hear superstar Rector say, lead from the front. Don't you lead from the front. You need to lead from behind. You need to be there to pick up the pieces. You need to observe who's having drama, who's not doing well in their life, who just had family stuff happen. That's how you lead. And I feel bad I'm pointing. I know that looks bad. <laughs> I move my hands a lot. I'm sorry. Don't, I'm not trying to be like, nah, nah, nah. I'm going to do that too. Um, but seriously, when you are the alpha, you leave from behind. So, let's talk about what that looks like. Isn't this a great image, though? Yeah. I remember the first time I saw it, I was compelled. And so when they told me I was going to do the training, lead the pack, right, this image came to my mind. So even though it's a little blurry, I did the best I could. Okay, so we talked about the wolves. Now, how do we put this to use in our teams? I'm going to ask you to stand up, so get ready. If you have a team of one, stand up. Stand up. Love it. Round of applause, everybody. Let's hear it. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. If you have a team of five million, one or more, stand up. Stand up. Everyone, stay standing. Do you see how many leaders are in this room? Let's give a round of applause for all the leaders in this room. You are the alphas. You are the alphas. And you most certainly are the alphas. That's right. But how are you going to do it? Are you going to ask your team to do things you wouldn't do? No. Absolutely not. All right. I'm going to go on and on. Okay, so the five best ways to leading the pack. I'm probably on the wrong page. Um, the first thing first. I'm going to talk about my first Five wolf leaderships and five work, wolf teamwork lessons. Lesson number one, more can be accomplished when we work together. Do you think that a lone wolf out trying to hunt, I hate to say that, but circle of life, hunting, do you think a lone wolf can take down a huge animal by herself? No. no. Guess what? The pack, you think the pack can? Yes. yes. And each and every one of you, we need our pack. We've got to love our pack. We may not have the same personalities, let's be real, as our pack and people in our pack. But there's still, you are a part of a tribe. You are a part of a pack. And you need to continuously figure out how you guys can work together. I hate drama in teams and I don't put up with it. But um, this business is about building relationships. This business is about connecting, not just to your customers, it's about connecting to your teamies as well. We're gonna have some lessons. So, wolf lesson number one is more can be accomplished when we work together, all right? Here's a nice little quote that kind of sums up the wolf leadership and the wolf pack um, teamwork. Ned Stark says, when the snow falls and the white winds blow, a wolf by himself dies. But guess what? The pack survive. You can't do this business alone, guys. Do you know that to promote, you need what? A team of one. How do you get to lead? One active person. To earn incentives, guess what you need to do? Promote. Yes, you do. You need to promote. You need to get your team. You make really good money, really good money when you sell Sensi. But trust me. When you promote and sponsor and share and collaborate and get a team, that's when your life changes, right? That's, that's financial freedom. But you've got to remember, even though you may have all different personalities, and I know some people in this room are like, is she talking to me? That's okay. Find your pack. 
but loves them hard. Because there may be somebody else in the pack that does get along with them. It's all one big tribe, one big pack. Lesson number two, communication is key. You know, what is so cool about communication is Jason today teaching them how to do a dance lesson. He had to teach her and then she had to teach it also. You can't be telling people how to do home parties, how to do basket parties, how to do flower parties, if you're not doing them yourself. Guys, we have to get out there. We have to do this. Just because I've been in the business 10 years, I push harder. You know why? I want someone to know, that's the girl that works hard. I'm not sitting back just collecting an income. I'm earning it. I'm trying to hit all the top levels. I'm trying to just hit top 150 guys in the company. What the heck, my first time ever. I still can't believe that happened. I'm, I'm still in shock. Um, hold on, let me see. So when we communicate efficiently, this is probably the hardest thing I'm gonna say to you. When you have a problem, this is my example, a problem happens amongst your team. Say you're upset, hypothetically, we had nine million back orders. Everything was on back order. It's not true. So what would happen if you were like, oh my gosh, on the team page. Guys, have you seen all the back orders? Like, what the heck is happening? Do you think your business would spiral? Absolutely. Remember, drama, negativity, things you don't know of, you roll it upward. My team will hear me, right? Until you find the answers, until you understand what is happening, then you can talk to your downline. Your team page is not the place to go and shout out what you're upset about. No, 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 no. Your drama and you need to, whether you talk to consultant support, whether you talk to another leader, you don't have the support of upline. It doesn't matter. The bad stuff, I was gonna say a bad word. Sorry, I don't know. Um, the bad stuff rolls up, okay? The greatness rolls down. And I'm not saying don't be real and don't be genuine and don't be true, but that place is not. Your team page needs to be a place of love, of sharing, of caring. This is what your team is all about. It needs to be a positive light for each and every one of your team members to grow and to share. They should be able to pop on your team page at any time and go live. I trust my team. But guess what? I got a, I got a bunch of directors behind me. If that something was wrong on that page, I know Rihanna, she's like, oh, I deleted that. We don't even have that happen in our organization. People know it's gonna be gone. So hypothetical concern, anything that happens in your business that's not a positive light, anything you're concerned, find the answers out. Get the knowledge and then go back to your team page and go, I noticed this, tons of back orders, but I also found out this is what's going on. That is how you handle a situation. This is how you lead the pack. Do not spread the negativity that you're having, even when you're having a bad day, on social media or on your team page. Raise your hand if you have a team page. I'm just curious, all right? Everyone with a team of one should have one. Just saying. Because when we share all that negativity, it, 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 it just kind of goes awry, and the rest of the team. Let me show you this tip. I've got this microphone, but the other thing with communication I'm gonna talk about today is body language. Oh, you guys. When you cross your arms and sit like this, guess what you're doing? Closing off the world. Do you think I look approachable? No. I'm ticked. <laughs> Hence, that's why I smile all the time. You look cute. Everyone would not be approachable. That just doesn't work with me. Also, it works when you're out there sharing at events or home parties. If you're kind of like behind the desk, or behind your counter, never. Sitting, never. Sorry, I'm gonna say it. If you're sitting and you're on your phone, do you think someone, and you walk up and go, oh, hey, how are you today? They're like, go back to your social media. You know, if you don't care about them, they're not gonna care about you. So watch your body language when you're in front of people. It really makes a difference. You know, the wolves use it as well. And they have their tail between the legs. You can even look at a dog. That's fear or submission, right? What if you see a dog with his tail wagging? Don't you just want to go pet it? Kind of like you. If they feel great energy when they're in your presence, people want to be around that. You don't have great energy, 
I'm sorry. Sometimes you just gotta get up when life is tough and put a smile on your face, put on your favorite top, get ready for the day, put a smile on your face, make your bed, clean your surroundings, and go share Scentsy. It will get you out of the worst mood ever. You can take a minute in the morning when she's shaking her head, right, girlfriend? You wake up and you're like, this is wrong, that is wrong. For those of you that lay in bed and look at social media before you get up, <laughs> yeah. guess what? It's so sad because we compare ourselves. Oh, she looked really cute in that bathing suit. Or she was this and she was... Guys, stop, stop. If you're following somebody that makes you uncomfortable, doesn't make you feel good about you, unfollow them. Seriously, because I want you to have that positive mindset. So every morning you're going to wake up, you're going to get ready, and guess what? You're going to put a smile on your face, even when you don't feel it, because that changes your whole mood as well. So smile, I'm not saying, you know, fake it till you make it, but um, take that little smile, and maybe internally you can feel the happiness inside as well. So communication was number two. How am I doing on time? Okay, dogs, let's see. So really, properly communicating to the right people in your organization is key. Really remember that. If you got one thing from today, remember the junk goes up, the goodness goes down, the knowledge and the answers go to your team. Lesson number three, and this is my favorite one, and this is the systems I'm gonna share with you today. It has so worked for me. Do you see me doing a happy dance? Because I love that I can connect with my team in this most amazing way. If you have a team of one, or you have a team of five million, you're gonna do this, okay? So remember, the wolves in their pack, they have responsibilities too. So do you, so do you. You have responsibilities in your family. You have responsibilities with your team slash your family. So when you, you're like their mom, you're the alpha mom, right? But you're not mothering them. You're teaching them to do things on their own, stand on their own. Remember, did I just forget this saying? Oh, teach a man to fish. Hold on. Why did I just, help me, someone knows this. Give a man a fish, a man a fish and you feed him for a day. But to teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. Train and teach your people. Feed a man a fish. You could just, they can call up and ask you a question. You can answer it. Or you can say, guess what? I'm going to wait on the phone with you right now. Go to your workstation. Tell me where you're going. You are showing and guiding them the way. Huge difference, guys. Okay, so respect the systems. I have to share this because I can tell. I have a lot to say. Um, everyone has a place. Remember, on your team, everyone should have a place. And you can totally sit with us as those fun little signs that I had, had made. But this, my loves is my system. This is the system. It's pretty amazing, okay? This is what you need to have in a notebook. This is the file that I just gave you with that QR code. I'm gonna walk through this carefully. What this is, is this is your heart and your soul. This is the stats for your team meet. On the back side, I run front and back. If you wanna put this in a notebook and do two separate pages, that's fine. I want you to start a notebook today to have a file on each teeny. What does this tell me? In this very, this is Sally Sensi. Sally Sensi, let me tell you how Sally Sensi's doing. On that first box, it says W slash C. That is will cancel. You kind of need to know that. These are the stats on your teeny. It's all, what month is this? What was their PRV? You would fill this out at the end of every month. I would go back to January and start this for a year with each person on your team. My lovely friend Anna Hughes um, actually created type of this system and I kind of tweaked it a little bit and made it pretty and made it work for me. Again, the system's got to work for you. What's neat about this, it says join date at the top, their shooting star and their sensational start. If you keep this notebook with you at all times, you're going to have access to that before you even open up your workstation or get on your phone. This is golden. Remember, at the bottom, there's a little column down here that has notes. Did you know Sally Sensi's launch party was $700? Just saying. She had a flower party with about $500 of sales. 
Her focus right now is on sponsoring. She needs more teamies. Okay, the back side, or if you just want to make a single copy, this is their heart and their soul. If there's one thing I want to share with you today, if you don't know this information about your team, I'm sorry. This is good stuff. This is what you need to, I'm not going to read all of it, but at the top it says what their title is. I would take the second part of this form and I would do it over FaceTime. They don't have FaceTime? Guess what? Android users, Facebook Messenger. You know why? Because you're going to see in their eyes. Do you know that our eyes are the hearts and souls of what's inside of us? How can you ask someone questions and not look them in the eye? The Marco Polo app. Raise your hand if you've got Marco Polo. Download the app today. It's a little beach ball. You want to know about your team? Connect with them on Marco Polo. You see what their house is like? You see their kids scream in the background? Oh, what a beautiful window. Five minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what a beautiful window to their soul. So remember, keep a page of stats, take a minute and FaceTime them and find out their heart and soul. It talks about their partner, their kid's name, their birthday, their favorite color. What's their favorite gift card? Well, if you were gonna buy them a little prize, you'd know, wouldn't you? Um, what do they collect? Do you know how people light up when they say, I collect Ray Dunn, or whatever it is they collect? It's huge, it's huge. Um, events, what events do they attend? Why did they join Sensi? What are their goals, strengths, and weaknesses? I want you to have a stat on every team member, and I want you to have the heart and soul with every team member, guys. This is my favorite system ever. Hopefully it'll work for you. Um, let's see, I think I missed something. My next one, and I'm not gonna read through all this, is when you do these calls, big thing right now, it's called coaching calls. And everybody's like, oh, I don't wanna coach. I can't coach. Guess what? I'm gonna call it a connection call. That's all you're doing. You're connecting with them. Guys, you can connect with your team. It's not hard. So these are my top 10 tips. Also in that QR code I gave you for successful coaching slash connecting calls. The second you start reaching out to your team members at least once a month and having a connection call, your business will change. Wait, this form, these two forms can completely change your business. Why? Because you're gonna know about your people. You're gonna know their strengths, you're gonna know their weaknesses, you're gonna know what direction. How else can you lead the pack if you don't know what's going on with them? Very important. So I hope you guys enjoy those. Um, let's see, lesson number four. Your pack is key to thriving your business. Oh, you can't promote, you can't earn incentive trips, you can't do much of anything without your pack, without your tribe. You guys really need to be a special place that they love to grow. They feel nurtured. They, not only that, they feel like they can share. They feel empowered. This is what leading the pack is all about. Lesson number five, probably my favorite. The team that plays together stays together. I'm going to say that one more time. Team that plays together stays together. Nothing is better when I have a team meeting and I see two Two people on opposite sides of the room connecting and now building a friendship. That's why you have get-togethers. That's why you do team meetings. That's why you do bowling nights. That's why you have uh, paint nights or whatever it is. You need to have those team meetings and gatherings. Raise your hand if you do team meetings on a regular basis. Okay, not a lot. That's okay. Um, when you put the team together, they feel like family. You need to have this be a place that they love, they learn, they feel connected, they can grow, and they feel like family, most important. So that was my five lessons. Gosh, that half an hour went fast. I got two ending quotes for you. Um, talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. Michael Jordan. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. Okay, and the last thing I want to say to you is find the pack, your pack, your tribe, and lead them hard. Really, lead them, love them, lead from behind. Meet with them, have a system on them, get their stats, but know their heart. And when all else fails and you don't think you can do this, 
Get a mirror like me. I look in this every morning and say, I am enough. I had a man, one, my first husband told me I wasn't. If you had abuse in a marriage or in life, just remember, sometimes we need a visceral representation to look at every single day and remind ourselves. Because whether you believe in yourself or not, come to me. Because I'm going to give you the strength and the wings because I believe in you. We believe in Sensi. This business is amazing. Find your path and love. luck for you. I hope you find this amazing culture. I hope you have this culture in the teams that they never want to leave. Good day, everybody. Let's go finish over the general session. Woo!